something like this before exactly. So this is a dog that has an infiltrative lipoma that's right here. If you look down on the um, right-hand side of the screen, you can see the CT scan, the um, multiplanar reconstruction. So this dog has had a couple of surgeries before to remove this thing, and it's come back. Um, and it's an infiltrative lipoma, and it's in the... Uh, or originating from the latissimus dorsi muscle. And so unless you take out that whole latissimus dorsi muscle out, um, you are not going to resolve this problem. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you get a ding on your phone the next time we live stream. And we are getting started here. So uh, latissimus dorsi, just to get you oriented, it comes from the axilla and attaches to the caudal aspect of the humerus. And it kind of runs in this direction like this. So the fibers run like that. And so we're going to remove the whole latissimus dorsi muscle. Um, and this can be done, because I know it can be done, because I've seen in an experimental model that we're going to use the latissimus dorsi as a cuff around the heart to um, assist with myocardial contractility in dogs with dilated cardiomyopathy. I um, mean, so you can remove the entire latissimus dorsi muscle without a significant impairment in function. It's actually amazing how many of the muscles in the dog you can remove without significant um, functional impairment. You're taking photos, Camille? Yeah. Just for your own? Yeah, just for my collection. I've got a wall of photos of you. Yeah, that's good. A shrine? Yeah. Good? As you should. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have one viewer from Cairo, Egypt. Anybody else who's watching from somewhere else? Just let us know where you're watching from because that's always fun. So I'm cutting through the cutaneous trunk eye muscle here. And in, this, this tumor is only infiltrative in the latissimus dorsi, otherwise it's just going to shell out like a normal lipoma. Mm -hmm. Can I get Cauter turned up to 30, please? Okay. Got it. Hello from the Philippines and hello from West Virginia. Emily, where are you in West Virginia? I was in Blacksburg, Virginia for about three years which is very close to the West Virginia border. And we used to go to Beckley, West Virginia, and we used to go skiing. I can't remember what it's called. It was a tiny little ski resort in Beckley. And they had night skiing there, so when I was a resident, if we were all fortunate to, enough to get off a reasonable hour, we would go skiing in Beckley at night and then be back at work for the next morning. Romania, Toronto, Florida. Gelpies in here, so we can get a little bit of retraction. So I'm just doing a marginal excision of the lipoma until I get down to the latissimus dorsi muscle, and then I'm going to take that out and block. 
can I please get a finger Meyer ding, please? I'm sorry, what? Finger Meyer ding. Oh, yes. Texas is here. Nathan from Canada. I've been on the, I've been emailing back and forth to Nathan about uh, second intention healing on a dog with a soft tissue sarcoma. And the first time you do second intention healing, it can be a little bit scary. You don't know how long it's going to take to heal. It's funny, the first couple of weeks it's really slow in healing and then all of a sudden it'll take off. And you know what, I might need SENS. SENS? Yeah. yeah, thanks. Uh, oh, these, these might be okay. Okay. Yeah. I've got Piyush, who's a long-time viewer, come from India, and he's here with us. These are his hands that you can see on the table. Um, so he's come from India to spend a few weeks with us. This is the second time he's been here. He came one time and for some reason he came back. So I'm down to latissimus dorsi here. That's the thoracodorsal artery and vein right there, so I'll ligature through that. Almost like I need Balfours instead of Gelpies. No, that's right. And Lori, one of our top nurses who's doing the anesthetic today, is leaving us. What's that? If I told you about that before, maybe you wouldn't be leaving. <laughs> it's one thing I really like about cancer surgery is that you, like often no surgery is the same. You find yourself cutting through things and resecting things that you haven't done before. And you have to know your anatomy in three dimensions because it's not just a, like an approach to the shoulder. And we've got to um, know what it's going to look like in three dimensions. So I'm right along the spine of the scapula here and I can still see fat that looks abnormal. It's hard to tell in a chubby dog. what's abnormal fat and what's normal. But you can, again, you can, with infiltrative lipomas, once you find out which muscle is involved, often you can just peel them out other than the, um, the muscle, that, you know, the muscle itself. So we'll just leave that for a minute, Piyush. CT scan is so helpful here in determining where it's coming from. And it's something that you could do on an exploratory, but I'd be afraid that you'd miss it.
Hello from Nicaragua. We've got a truly international audience today. I'm going to say we didn't have anybody from Asia, but we have Piyush here in person. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. I think that's most of the continents. Do we have Europe? Thank you. That's the rack of doors, so I think. Blending back the other way. Getting into the long head of the triceps. Is that latissimus dorsi there? Mm -hmm. That is latissimus dorsi right there. Going right into the axilla here. So you guys can see that there, that's all latissimus dorsi. And that's getting into the body of the infiltrated lipoma. Uh, did I get, uh, I didn't get sends, did I? Let me get a send yeah, if I could, thank you. Just the hooks are a little bit better on that. You want to Yes, please. Hello from Portugal. There's our Europe, Florida. You want to catch that? Uh, I think I've got one. I just haven't stuck it on. I do have one. Is that what that's for? So Lori is leaving us to go and work for a neurologist. And the reason why Lori became interested in neurology was because her dog, Biggie, had a big brain tumor that we removed. And through her 
nine months ago tomorrow, and with her experience with Biggie, she became more and more interested in neurology and neurosurgery. So she'll be back. Nine months today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, that's amazing. So, and Biggie was thought to have an inoperable tumor in the fourth ventricle. You guys mm -hmm. might have seen the video on it. So fourth ventricle tumor. So we split the cerebellum in half and got into the fourth ventricle to remove the tumor. Which I have to say, it was one of the cooler brain surgeries I've done. That was very cool for Mr. Biggie because he's alive nine months la later. A little bit wonky, but... Uh, so there's a question about what's the, how do you differentiate a normal lipoma from an infiltrative one? And CT, it's pretty easy. Um, or... Um, Histopathologically, they can tell as well. If you've got lipoma invading into muscle fibers, then it's considered to be infiltrative. So I'm transecting the latissimus dorsi here. And it will do nothing to reoppose this. Just pull that skin back for me, please. got the latissimus dorsi muscle isolated here. You can see we're climbing right down into the axilla. Also stimulating the nerve directly. We've got some big vessels here. What would I do without ligature? A lot slower surgery, I imagine. So this is the insertion of the latissimus dorsi down in the axilla on the caudal mm -hmm. aspect of the proximal humerus. So that's the tumor out, and we can see it's completely encapsulated, or the attachment is completely encapsulated within the logismus dorsi muscle. And you can even see some of the fatty tumor infiltrating through the um, muscle fibers there. So that is very, very cool. All right, so let's have a look in here and make sure we're happy. No, no, it's deep to the muscle. So that's serratus ventralis right there going to the medial aspect of the mm -hmm. scapula. It's teres major, I think, right there. Okay, we're in good shape. Can I please get some uh, mepivacaine? Okay. Hello, Italy. I'm going to be visiting Italy, I think, in 
late September. My wife and I are going on a driving holiday through Europe. When we're not sure exactly where we're going, we're just going to stop whenever we feel like it. Now, is this going to close? I think it'll be fine. I'll pull the, the leg back a little bit with my deep closure. So that's the cut surface, cut edge of the latissimus dorsi right there. And again, I don't think I'm going to do much. I might try to reattach it to the back of the scapula. That would probably work. I think I'm just going to inject this into the brachial plexus because I'm looking right at it. probably going to give me the best analgesia. Just flood the brachial plexus. Okay, some OPDS, please. Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Let's see if I can reattach that latissimus to the back of this caudal edge of the muscles attached to the scapula, which may help a little bit with function, even though there usually is no major functional impairment with this. It may still help a little bit. Uh, I will not be putting a Jackson Pratt drain in. I've got no real serious oozing or anything like that. I'm going to I'm going to do a good job of closing my dead space. I'm getting more bleeding from that one needle than I did from the whole rest of the surgery. suture. So that it's less likely to pull through the fibers of the latissimus dorsi. Yes, please.
Trying to relieve some of the tension on the skin by pulling the deeper tissues together. Um, so this dog is going to have a, f uh, is it on a fentanyl CRI? No, methadone people. Okay, so it might need to go on a fentanyl CRI. We'll see what level of pain relief it needs afterward. Um, and anti-inflammatories will put a fentanyl patch on it um, to provide high level full agonist opiate care for um, the next uh, four days. We'll send her home on anti-inflammatories as well. Can I please get some more OPDS? Oh, I've, I've already used it. Thank you. Two I just want time. And then just rest restricted activity for about four weeks.
For those of you who missed it last time, did you know that Mark Twain had a brother named Choo Choo? That was worth repeating. I beg your pardon? Two O. You require more two O. Yes. Yeah. Uh, more uh, two. more O. Two. I've been operating at the Pet Emergency and Specialist Center, which is another vet partner's practice about 20 minutes from us, and I'm just getting my equipment together to live stream from there. Which will be fun. My caseload there is very much orthopedic. What did you say, my favorite? So in the past three days of operating, I've done six TPLOs, an ulnar osteotomy, something else, I can't remember what it was. Can you pull down on that for me, please? And just straight down like that, thanks. Another one is, where does <clears throat> Vladimir Putin keep his armies? In his sleeveys. Was that bad? That was painful. Good night, Joe. Yeah. Going to sleep. Buenas noches. Where are you? Oh, from Texas. Oh, 
What time is it here? So it's 10 past midnight in Texas, or 10 past 1 in Texas. That's fair enough. You can go to sleep. Can you scroll down? Why do ducks have webbed feet? It's to stomp out bushfires. Why do elephants have big feet? To stomp out burning ducks. No. just because they're more secure. So rather than a surgeon's knot, I prefer a square knot. The algorithm is supposed to block those bots. Do we have one of those like spandex t shirts? Ooh, I think we might. Are you talking about the sewing socks? Yeah. Yeah. I think that a little bit of pressure here would yeah. help. Do you want to do the plan with me yeah. for mass yeah. removal? Will it take away from that? Uh, yeah, it will. Yeah. yeah. Um, just come over to this to the screen yeah and push hdmi one so there there's a red square come down over over to the left all the way over to the left keep going keep going keep it, yep yep push that yep so that gets rid of the computer screen So we're just going to do the plan for this dog overnight. So pain relief, we're going to try methadone, but if it's uncomfortable, we'll switch it to a fentanyl CRI. Uh, four weeks. Uh, yes, meloxicam. Uh, seven. seven. Fentanyl patch, you said? Uh, yes, yeah. fentanyl patch. Uh, antibiotics? No. no. Additional pain relief? Uh, I think we'll do gabapentin yeah. as well. Uh, for how many 
Uh, five. Five. And then, so, uh, sorry, Rachel's appointment at seven and forty. Yes. Uh, they can be done with an intern. I'm I'm gone for oh, yeah. a few weeks anyway. Well, so. Um, nutrition and monitoring. Um, walks wise. Uh, yeah, walking straight away. Yep, yeah, normal walks. Uh, yeah. Are we going to put an oxide on it at all? Uh, can you, try? you can try. I think you're going to struggle to get an oxide to stick. Okay, and then we'll do the little. I'll see if there's any red shirts. Sure. Yeah. Uh, icing if it'll tolerate it, yeah? Yes. Nourishing of blood work, pain scales, yes. Mary drains, normal fluids, overnight. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, methadone until fentanyl patch is active or put on steroid. Um, Moxicam and normal PO overnight, yep. yeah. Do you want to decide how to have tension? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Capsule overnight or just continue? You've had one dose. Uh, no. No more capsule. You can have any sedation. Yeah, any food. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get you to pull that down for me, please? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we can release that top lamp. See what kind of range of motion we've got. So the elbow is good, a little bit restricted, but that's good. Yep. So that'll just scar down. All right. So I'm just going to come over, see if we've got any questions that I haven't answered yet. Hello, Charles from Portland. Hello. Uh, we also use ketamine sometimes. Generally, we start with a fentanyl CRI, and if that's not enough, we'll add ketamine and lignocaine. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you again soon. I may try to stream another case this afternoon. It just depends on what theater they put me in. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you'll get a ding on your phone the next time we live stream.